It's about to go down. We got our pretzels, we got our popcorn. We're ready to ball tonight, you guys. Let's go. Hello? And good morning, everyone. We are Woo! killing it today. First thing out of the gates, we are eating donuts for after school snacks, courtesy of Stephanie. Stephanie came up to the car in carpool today, knocked on the window, and she's like, hey, just wanted to give your kids a box of donuts, tell them to have a great day oh, Mom's today. Favorite. Is oh that God. the sweetest, cutest thing ever? And she got my favorite glazed croissant. No, she didn't just get one, sweetie. She got two, one for me, one for you. So I ate mine while in carpool. Oh my gosh. And now there's one for you there's to have. One left for me. Whenever you want. Just have it whenever I know, you want. I know, I know. You guys know. Do they know? I think they know. You are not eating a donut over my box of shoes. Crew of all people, you should know and respect. Okay. This box, the other important box in our lives today, this was delivered. This was delivered, and Guys. here's the thing. I thought it was supposed to come tomorrow, and it was supposed to have my signature. So the fact that it ended up on the porch today without a signature, just awesome. I'm actually so grateful they weren't stolen. This is all because of Crew. Because of Crew's obsession with shoes and asking for shoes I for know. Christmas, putting them on his wish list. I'm gonna be honest, I'm just gonna tell you guys right now, come and clean, here we go, on camera. When Crew asked for shoes, we said that was a really weird thing to ask for for Christmas. <laughs> I don't really know why you're gonna ask Are for shoes. They're a strange collector's item. They're almost like too expensive to wear. I'm just not really sure why you would ask for shoes. I don't even know if Santa's elves know how to make those shoes. Anyway, that quickly, quickly spun out of control from crazy thing to ask for for Christmas to mom's addicted, I know. checks the sneaker app all the time, and now has her very first pair of Jordan 1s. Are okay. they Jordan 1s? What are they called? They are yeah. Jordan 1s. Jordan 1s. Yeah. Okay, should we show? The box look different than yours. Because um, yours are retros. Oh, maybe his is a retro, yeah. So this has got the Jordan box. His are the retros. Here they are. I want to see what you got. I don't, have you told them? I think you put it Jordan on Instagram. One Mids. These yeah. are mom's very own, very first pair of matching Jordans. And guys, we have crew 150% to thank or blame. I might want the box. <laughs> That's a what pretty dope I box. box. <laughs> Here's the thing when you grow, you might fit into them. <gasps> or I can. I want to see what mom went with. Oh my gosh, 23 all over the paper. I bet mom doesn't even know that that's Michael Jordan's number. I do know okay. that that's Michael Jordan's <laughs> number. Oh my yeah. gosh. Riley thought it was LeBron James. Oh. Oh! There's mom! Guys, these are I verified. Oh, there they are, verified. Have the authentic, oh, crew smell on oh. them over here. <laughs> you know what? That's that fresh, it's fresh. It's nice. Yours looks so cool, and that material around the toe of yours is like the coolest feeling. That's why they could potentially get dirty quick. Wait, so yeah. are yours? These oh, are just regular leather. His is suede. So his Cruz is like, is like way is nicer. It suede? It's just like this velvety suede. Like you rub your finger on it and it gets a little bit lighter blue, darker blue. This is just like straight up leather. So I feel more comfortable yeah. touching that. Yeah. Mindy, I love now. Do you want to tell them which ones you tried to get? Or do you want to just like... Uh, I tried to get a new drop that had just come out. So on the sneakers app, they will make drops. And you have to log in, have the size ready, your credit card information already If you stall for a second, you're not getting it. Which I accidentally did. So I tried <laughs> to get these really cute blue and pink ones. and Cotton candy? They were just mostly it was pink. like a navy that. blue. It was like a navy blue black color with pink, and they okay. were so cute. Anyways, I didn't get in on the drop. Almost. Almost. You almost I had them. I saw a lady the other night with them, and I took a picture of her shoes. Fine. <laughs> she talked to her too, <laughs> and the lady talked about how she like totally but scored them on the, the drop. Thing. I love these because they're more neutral, so they'll go with everything. Whereas yeah. the blue and pink ones didn't go with as. Those one. are maybe a little more exclusive. <laughs> these ones. So I'm curious to see if these fit because I had to order a half size bigger than I was planning on buying. <laughs> and if they don't, you're just stuck with them, or there is a great reseller market for these shoes apparently. I know. If you here's the thing, am I going to put like the crease protectors in here? Because I want to just wear them, they're shoes. I don't know, I don't know. No, you don't. Well, you have a couple <laughs> pairs, I could use one. I haven't even tried them on because I don't have a sock right now. Mom's very first pair of Jordans, that's the last time you're ever going to stick your nose in those. Anyway, <laughs> those look know, really, yeah. really good. Verified I love them. Verified, authentic. Let me ask you this, crew. Do you approve? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I want to wear them today. What are they? They're they're actually bumblebees. Little did you know he wants to be a bumblebee. So right guys, now looking at shoes, guys, we need to get them under control they're quickly. Cool. Earn some money. <laughs> Everyone wants to know, mom just tried on her shoes. Do they fit? Is the half size the right size? Yes, it's the perfect size. They fit? Yeah. 
Guys, that's pretty I exciting. Fit any better? And I want to wear them so bad. Let's wear them today. You want to? Should I go get them? Yeah, get them. Let's put them on. Will you go get them for me? Oh wow, that's a pretty big assignment, crew. I know. Oh, ho, ho, ho. there they are, Cinderella. And you got both slippers, baby. Let's go. This I is the know. new modern day princess shoe right here. I really, yeah, it is. The okay. Jordans are the princess slippers. So are they going to fit? Drum roll, please. Mom already tried them on. She said. And you do. can't Brr. scrunch the back. Yeah, mom, you gotta put these on and off very oh, carefully. Those They're are so very cool. cool. Aren't they? I like them with this outfit too. It's a good mix. Looks really I good. I got this shirt yesterday. I love it. Love it. This whole outfit is Try just working. It out. Crew, wait. Do I go one more? I can't remember. No, not the top one. You laced these. They were already laced, which means they're probably not real. It's fine. <laughs> Crew, doesn't she leave this in there? Isn't that yep. the crease protector? Your yeah, built -in you never crease protector. take that out ever. You know what's the best crease protector? <laughs> Leaving them in the box. Yeah, that's actually a really good crease protector. Hey. Ooh, they're almost laced up. Ready to take them for their first spin around the house. I know. Yeah. <laughs> All dressed up. Nowhere to go. You look Ooh. nice though. I do have one idea. You should leave that, that go. stock X authentication. Yeah. Card. Should I wear that forever? It is it still on there? First little walk. Let's see. Ooh, how do they feel? How do they feel? <laughs> Isn't that how you do it, crew? That's how crew walked at Costco. <laughs> so, here's the thing, unfortunately, I'm just gonna wear them. They're going to just wear them. Marks. Just wear them. They're awesome. Guys, I love them. I love them. I love them. I think, I don't know, don't you feel like with some shoes that sick, we should wear them like out, like somewhere cool? Yeah, do you guys wanna wear them somewhere cool with me? Yeah. Should we do something fun? Like what would be an appropriate place to wear like brand new Jordans? Like a basketball game of some kind? That'd be interesting. What about like the Harlem Globetrotters? What if we went to the Vivint Smart Home Arena and had front row seats right behind the Harlem Globetrotters tonight and we're leaving now? You're kidding. I am 100% serious. You can't wear shorts. You're gonna have to change. You're gonna have to change. Hazy did change. Yeah. Rex and you look fine. Wait, so we're gonna see. We're going to the Vivint Arena and we're gonna go watch the Harlem Globetrotters first row behind their bench. Down no on the way. court and we're going I mean, I right new now. Shoes for we it. got new shoes. We gotta go out. Guys, we've never done this. We've always said we wanted to go see the Harlem Globetrotters. They're like the trick shot masters. They do hilarious stuff. And we're going right now. It's downtown. The game doesn't start till seven, but we thought let's go grab some dinner downtown. Let's make a fun full night of it. Yeah. Oh, Late night downtown basketball oh, no. game. Her crease projector. <laughs> and crew, if you want, very appropriate place. Place to wear your new Jordan. So let's go, Jordan bros. <laughs> okay. Watch out, watch out. We got Jordan ones coming through. Retros, retros, watch out, watch out, everybody. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Six feet, six feet. Give me six feet. Actually, I think it's now three feet, so I can get kind of closer. There you go. Watch out. <laughs> you got your crease protectors in, bro? Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. I cannot wait to take these out on the town, bro. Downtown. We've been smart home, and we are sitting right behind the Harlem Globetrotters. I hope. We don't actually know if they're on this bench or this bench, so we might be sitting behind the other team. We don't actually know. But we're right behind one of the benches. Yes. Let's go, dude. I have to laugh a little bit because we wanted to surprise the kids with this one because it's something that we've never done before. We've always said that we wanted to do it. Mom was online one night. She saw the tickets, the event available, and there were some great seats. And she's like, let's just do it. We always say we're going to do it, but we're such babies about late nights. We always want to make sure we're in bed early. Uh, we get yeah, the kids into bed early. Be a really late this night. starts at 7 downtown, you guys. So this is a late school night for us. It's something that we typically avoid. She just said, Mom, that's bad because I have school tomorrow. <laughs> the kids have been conditioned and trained that we just don't do this very often, but she's like, you know what? We just got to do it. These are the fun memories that life's made of, so let's just do it. So she grabbed the tickets. We decided to surprise the kids. We put in the calendar. The mom had a night full of doing nails tonight because sometimes the kids will look at the calendars on the Alexas and that will spoil the surprise if we put anything in there. But what was funny that the kids started asking a lot of questions when they saw that mom was actually dressed for the day. Oh my gosh, I know. Ryler's like, what is going <laughs> and on? And that Hazy got a little bit dressed up. All the kids just kept asking, where are you guys going? Like, what's happening tonight? Why are you dressed up? Why are you dressed? So that's not a great sign. If you actually like get ready, kids expect something's going on. We Wait, must be going I somewhere. should get ready more often. And no, Hazy yeah. maybe too. No, 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 you're good. You're good. I do think it's a great way to break out these brand new shoes for you and crew to be mobbing like bosses through the Vivint Smart Home Arena. I gotta say, I think the Globetrotters are gonna be very impressed with your sneaker style. Wanted to grab a quick bite to eat before we head to the arena. Now there's a lot of fun. Wow, what's up with my hood? A lot of fun food that you can get actually at the arena. We do want to do that, but it's kind of hard to eat at your seat, so we thought we would grab some dinner first. Oh, we need snacks later. Snacks later because it's going to be a late night, and any late night at any sporting event is going to require snacks. It's a big and family fun event. Grab some noodles and co. Head over to the arena now, though. I think I mean it doesn't start for like another hour. We can get in in 30 minutes, we'll so be good. we could go in, walk around, go check out our seats, see some of the pregame. I don't know what they do. Honestly, it's been so long since I've been to one of I've these. I've never been to one. So I'm You've excited. never been? No. I did not realize this is your first time. You used to go all the time when I was a kid, have not been since I was a kid. So yeah. it's gonna be fun. I'm excited. We have arrived. We are in the Vivint Arena parking lot. So Harlem Globetrotters going down. I can actually see the cool marquee lighting up right now. We cannot take big professional cameras like this yeah. into the event. So we're gonna go ahead and leave this here. Fingers crossed we come back and it's still here. We'll see. Uh, 
We were gonna bring in our iPhones, GoPros, whatever we can manage to get in there. Make you guys a part of this fun night tonight as a family. We're here quite a bit early, so we've got some time to go find our seat, walk around the arena, get a treat, get settled, give mom and crew's shoes a couple of laps around this arena before we sit down and enjoy an epic night out. You guys ready for this? Oh, yeah. Let's go. Let's do it. That's so cool. <laughs> just got here, we came down to our seats, we were looking for row C, we couldn't find it. That's because it's in front of row one, guys. We are right behind the Harlem Globetrotters fence. They're warming up right in front of us. It's about to go down. We got our pretzels, we got our popcorn. We're ready to ball tonight, you guys. Let's go. Came back. Number one win of the night. The camera was still here in the car. That's a huge win. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Number two, what did you guys think of that? That was awesome. <laughs> That was highly entertaining. It was cool. so much fun. I forgot how much comedy's involved. There were so <laughs> many hilarious moments. They had Grandma Globetrotter out there. They were pulling kids and dads they out of the audience. They were pulling adults out. It was, it was absolutely fun. hilarious and entertaining. High flying action, huge dunks, and guess what, you guys? The Globetrotters won! Woo! Oh my gosh! Shocker. <laughs> if you're not familiar, they always win. They always win. <laughs> but we had a ton of fun. We had great seats. We had good food, uh, good time. Highlight of the night. One of the players complimented my shoes. Uh, they did. Yeah. Yeah, kind of rad and then no, also do. people who would walk by were complimenting cruise shoes you know. The shoes were recognized the shoes were noticed. It's not a big deal guys. It's not a big deal It's really not a big deal. <laughs> it is very fun and exciting and a great inaugural initial first rod for mom's shoes to go to a globe charter game And they're clean at the and not creased. Kept so. them clean. Cruise stayed nice and clean. Shoes were in great condition. We're in good condition We're gonna drive home. Wrap it's actually up. not that late. It's only 8.45. Yeah, that was pretty quick That's a pretty short event. Let's get home get these kids into bed. Let's do it. Hey, mom, speaking of shoes, what are those? Let's see how they held up tonight. Do pretty good, mom, crew. They're looking good. We took a couple pictures on the porch. I think we're gonna have to post those to the Insta. Check them out. At This Is How We Bingham. These two shoe homies, they're trying to think of a name What's for their shoe club? squad. What's our shoe club? Yeah, you need a club, the, the shoe club somehow. I said like cringy. Which is cringy. <laughs> or Maru. Or Maru. <laughs> I was thinking like J squad for Jordan squad. J squad. Just don't, dad. No? Mom kind of liked it. What about <laughs> MK club? For Michael Corden. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Corden. Hey, Woo! KB crew, and then your last name is Bingham. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Okay, if you guys have any ideas, in fact, let's yeah. do this. Go over to our Instagram. We will post the picture of them on the porch with sneakers, their shoes, their fresh kicks. A sneakers club. Sneaker club name. Sneaker squad. For mom There's and crew. And I gotta squad. tell you guys, I said this, I don't think this was on camera, but as soon as I came in from taking the picture on the porch, I was like, I hate this, but now I want some. Uh, well, I'm not into shoes. I don't get from it. The way that but you I want it. Your other shoes that you just showed everybody, you're gonna have to wait a little longer. You know what? <laughs> that is actually a 
actual <laughs> proof that I should never get these shoes. I'm not good at taking care of shoes. I used to get teased I, out of my last job. They were very into shoes. They all yeah. had these shoes. They were very into Nike. In fact, they partnered with Nike just to get like the most exclusive Nikes. And I would constantly get teased that my shoes were lame. They were always dirty. And I only had like one pair. Well, Anyways, I remember when I got I still pair, want some though. They're uh, so cool. I got a pair of Vans and someone was like by me and I was like, whoa, 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 I'm wearing new shoes. <laughs> that's how it happened. So <laughs> I'm very Vans. much like that. Like, but the that's kids how, were walking by me and I, I just. That's how the Vans thing came to be though. I didn't have any Vans. The kids got them for like school. And then I started going, well, could I wear Vans? And I'm like, yeah, you should try and wear Vans. Mm -hmm. I was like, I think I'm too old and lame for Vans. And then I put on some Vans. Sure enough, I looked old lame in them. But they were, no, you <laughs> no, it was they were really cool. So I think I may, I may have to get like an entry level pair of these. I don't know if I can go full oh, J squad. Yeah. I'm going with J squad. Okay, guys, let's wrap up this vlog. <laughs> Thank you guys for hanging out with us. We got a lot of fun stuff coming up the rest of this week. The kids have a short day tomorrow, so we're definitely going to do something fun. Chris, go to the orthodontist tomorrow. Oh, he may not have known that. But and you can get those Christmas colors off your braces, so that's yeah. cool. Oh, yeah, that's nice. He's got the red and green. And then we have a big house meeting on Thursday. Yep, there's a lot of good yeah, things coming up, you guys. Make sure you come up. back every single day. We love you. Thanks for hanging out with us at the Harlem Globetrotters. We had so much fun. We had so much fun. We love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye. Bye.